Sorry, I, I couldn't keep that up. <laughs> I was trying to see how long I could go into the intro video before cracking up. But I, I, I kind of uh, cracked early, so now I feel bad. Yeah, if this isn't <laughs> this doesn't qualify for a weeb trash let's play. I, I don't wait, was that little Karibo? <laughs> Never mind. If this doesn't qualify for a weeb trash let's play, I don't know what does because it was made by white people and has a Japanese song in front of it and takes place in Japan, even though none of the um, normal boots people do. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna date some internet celebrities. <laughs> Sit tight, this is gonna be this is gonna be a wild adventure. Oh, chapter one, just like, just like great expectations. That had a chapter one. Oh, oh Dickens. Uh, oh god, I forgot that I do voices for these. It's been a while. It's been what? Fading hearts. Oh, damn. But, like, I need to do more of these. I keep trying to play Narmi games to like, like re, uh, recapture uh, some of my masculinity. And, and some of my, um, uh, normalcy, like, you know, normal people play SimCity 4, so I'll play SimCity 4. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing that, by the way, I'll probably alternate these. But, you know, god damn it, we just, we need to pl play a game made by weeaboos for, not only weeaboos, but for people who watch a lot of internet videos, which I do, I do watch a lot of internet videos, and I do like many of the members of, of, of this normal boots club, even though I don't know, didn't, didn't that nor thing fall through? I have no idea. I don't, I don't follow these things that closely. Uh, I don't know. I guess just basic girl voice for Hana. Uh, I'm probably gonna be doing it a lot. Maybe Hana will be my normal voice. No, fuck that. That's not fun. Uh, the train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan, whisking me farther and farther from home. Across from me, said, "Boy, have." face I have buried in my tits. He was deeply entrenched in whatever article he was reading and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I asked if I could join him in the last compartment with any space available, so I just kind of sat down. I just kind of sat down without his permission. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. I try, to, I try to brighten his day. I try to add some sunshine to his life, but nobody wants to around Hana, and that's why. He shrugged, nodded, and shusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. It'd been almost an hour, in fact, and he hadn't once looked at me. Devoid of conversation, I took instead to starting the buttons on the pretentiously lush carmine seat cushions. One, two, three, twenty-one, twenty-two, and so forth. Over and 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 over. And now and again, I turned to look out the window, where the trees were blurring by. Sometimes the smeared green would br break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. Even though there ain't no fucking, there ain't no trees, there ain't no, there ain't no ocean of Japan back there. Oh yeah, by the way, um, uh, in in, uh, as thanks for doing this, if like any person who developed this. Like, I'm not doing this to make fun of it necessarily, it might be a fun ride for people who are, you know, just as nerdy as I am. But, I'm probably gonna throw some money towards your itch.io at some point, so don't, don't, uh, don't get mad at me. Don't, don't comment on this video like, oh, gee, this faggot's so gay. Like, although I don't think either of them would. <laughs> it's just like, don't, don't get mad if, if you're, like, clicking on these videos and automatically disliking them. We're cool. We're cool. Eventually, this rapidity made my stomach churn, and I went back to counting the buttons on the seat cushions. One, two, three. The trade compartment shuddered around us. My eyes wandered to the boy and his jacket. It wasn't the school-issued blue that I and the other students on the train were wearing. Instead, it was green, varsity-like jacket with an embroidered patch poorly sewn on the front. Take that, Jared. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> uh shit. <laughs> Sh uh, I'm going to try to practice this. Uh so you're a first student then. I don't know. He folded his newspaper neatly, set it in his lap and looked at me with half-interested gaze. 
Did he just catch me staring? I forgot that this whole game takes place in the first person, so this is going to be really annoying for anyone watching this. Jesus. Now that the paper was gone, I saw his face. He watched me through heavy lidded eyes. His hair was immaculately grooved, his teeth straight and blindingly bright. Man, you gotta feel bad when, like, your best features are your teeth. I mean, granted, I, I'm not one to talk, I have horrible teeth, but... There was something about him, the way the light hit him, that made him look like he was almost sparkling. No, that's stupid. Um, you know what I should do? I should read Hana's actual lines in, like, the, the actual things she says to other people in that voice, and do the, the, the first person stuff in in regular voice because it's gonna get really annoying really fast so that voice won't change it just won't be on those parts me <laughs> he glanced around the compartment empty beside us and laughed <laughs> oh no I'm not a first year I'm a third year uh, did they do that so it wouldn't be skeevy uh, I don't know because it would be more like I mean it's more cliche to like make it so that it's, like, someone who's just going to high school, but I guess that would be skeevy. So, I don't know. The train began to slow! Uh, uh, to slow! Metal wheels groaning against the metal tracks. The sudden shift threatened to rob- Oh, wait, no, wait, the sudden shift threatened to rob me of whatever was left in my stomach, but I closed my eyes and took a deep breath, willing myself to keep it together. What kind of impression would I leave, puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy? Um... You'd, uh, you'd, you'd get a reputation as the village bicycle. Because, I mean, Jared's into some weird shit and everybody knows it. <laughs> Unsubscribed. Disliked. <laughs> Fuck it, no. Oh, wait, no. The boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton skirt. That's not possible. I've never seen you before. Oh, God. Why am I doing it? Christopher Walken? Or Fuck it. He's Christopher Walken. Jared's Christopher Walken now. Oh, uh, God. It took me a moment of mouth-fishing to find a response. Jesus, what kind of parasites are growing in your stomach that, ma that fish come out in your mouth? I, uh, it's because I'm a transfer student. <laughs> he laughed again. A transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. Oh, God damn. I removed my acceptance letter from the front pocket of my uniform. The paper, heavy white off, heavyweight off white, had accumulated grease from my reading and rereading it as I wiped my face all over it, as if the words might have changed since the last time I've read it. The boy took it, studied it, and handed it back to me. I'll see you around. <laughs> I'll see you around. <laughs> oh. Well then, Hana, I suppose I'll be seeing you around. Uh, no, I'm just no. I'm gonna do the earlier voice. Walking stupid, not walking stupid. Walking, you're you're brilliant, man. Who maybe needs to work on his memory, but I mean, goddamn. He smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him, the one that belonged to the sleeping student that's next to me. By the time I hiccuped a response, he was already gone from the compartment. I stared out at the empty hallway of the train. You know what's great is that this is like, this is like, um, this is like Harry Potter for the kind of nerds that nerds look down on. Like, like ones who are not only, uh, so kawaii desu that they'll fucking put a, a, a white person in Japan in order to just satisfy that branch of, of, of the, the fandom. Cause normal people will just be like, oh man, I get to date internet celebrities awesome! But then, like, you'll have the weeaboos who are like, oh, gee, I get to date normal boots people in Japan! So, <sighs> knock on wood. I just, this is like Harry Potter for, like, subterranean levels of nerd. It's inspiring. train settled at the station, and I filed out with the rest of the uniformed students. All while, Pink Floyd's uh, brick in the, another brick-in-the-wall plays. Gotta love it. 
It was early April, and the last frost of winter had come and gone. Oh, this music, it's its like some fucking, uh, it's like some Legend of Zelda shit. It's like the, uh, that village by Gerida Valley in Ocarina of Time? I don't know. Uh, the trees were already green, their leaves shivering in the occasional gust weaving through them. The air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. I walked along the road with the swarm of blue-jacketed bodies, looking at the little groups breaking off from the crowd. Everyone was buzzing so anim animatedly around me? Shouldn't it be an- I don't know. Like, I'm not like an expert in the English language, I've only been speaking here for like 22 years, but I don't think animatedly is a word. Maybe change that sentence, because that's an- like, this is constructive criticism. Maybe change that sentence so that it's... Everyone was buzzing so an- uh, was- Everyone's buzzing was so animated ar around me, or something like that. Just animatedly is a clunky word. Don't use it. Uh, uh, I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. <laughs> What'd you do? Did you just run a marathon? It was leather-bound and worth more than anything it contained. But to be fair, that is one expensive fucking suitcase. <laughs> it wasn't fair to... Oh, it wasn't far to the school that I was. Uh, for maybe the first time in my life. Thankful that what I owned didn't amount so much. Oh my god. You're such a sad sack. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Hana. <laughs> Take some plenty to presents and shut the fuck up. My school issued black oxfords click click clicked on the pavement. Oh my god, does school gives you shoes too? That's horrible. I mean, I can understand if they were like adamant about dress shoes, but they actually give you shoes. That's that's wonderful. I walked this walk over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake, imagining what it would be like to date Pro Jared. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ, this game. I I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not mad at all. This is probably a lot more. This is a lot more fun than Fading Hearts, which took itself way too seriously. It got really boring. But it, it's like, it's uh, it's definitely better. Like less indulgently written than something like Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan. But it's it has that same indulgent quality. So it's like this is just this, this is blowing my mind right now. Granted, um, no, I'm not gonna say it. My new start. I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk. That somehow everything would be magically different and magically delicious. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. I hadn't changed. Oh my god, this is turning into uh, uh, the life and death of Colonel Blimp. <laughs> god damn it, I'm such a film nerd. Like, fuck it, like, oh, you guys will obviously get this, this 1930s British film. <laughs> like, you ever heard of it? Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. It's on the Criterion Collection, I recommend the Blu-ray. Oh, fucking God, I have no idea how anyone watches these. I hadn't changed. By the time I reached the massive gate to the Academy, I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. Oh, you're disappointed? The school, framed by the gates, twisting black metal, was just as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in its pamphlets. This is turning into- oh wait, no, I was gonna do another fucking film nerd thing, like, oh, this is a Douglas Sirk thing, but with fucking normal boots. Uh, no, no. That's not what this is. This was at Asagao Academy. I glanced around. The swarm of students gathered around the gate. Beyond it, tiny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. Oh man, this sounds like the best school ever. You just got like people painted in blue, just like bouncing all around. And <laughs> the people in the blue uniforms are looking onward and saying, "Dude, what's with all the fucking blue people?" A girl pressed a button to one side of the gate. This excitement was in the air. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. A few moments later, the black gate, with great effort, creaked outwards and cleared the pathway. As the rest of the group shifted into motion, I followed along, a sheep in the herd. Oh, no, it's just another brick in the wall. My stomach tied itself into knots. Well, that's just not a wise thing for your stomach to do. The crowd split off in different directions. For a moment, I panicked. 
<laughs> oh my god, I wish Normal Boots had an old person reviewer. How many old person reviewers are there? There needs to be more. There needs to be like 65 year old men who review like Remington of Great American Bird Hunt or something. I just, I want to see that because like this is, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like every reviewer is like under 40. I mean, that was until, I mean, to Wario, what was over 40, but th that, th yeah, like, that wasn't supposed to be funny, it's just he was over 40, and then something bad happened, so, you know, rest his soul. A tired-looking man with graying hair called out for first years, a cluster of fresh-faced students gathering around him. Oh, no, oh, wait, no. Uh, I think this is PBG, I don't know. I, I need to know. I, I'm just going to read it normally. Hey, hey, look at that girl. I turned a few feet away. A small group of boys were pointing at me and snickering. Pink hair? Are you kidding me? How desperate can you get? God. Who cares? A hot shame curled down my neck. There's a much taller person behind her dripping hot shame down her neck. Uh, where do you even get hot shame? Like, a, a massage parlor? I attached myself to a group of... <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. I, I just thought of that joke I just told it. For, I didn't really get it until after I said it. I attached myself to a group of girls following a few steps behind them. In the distance, a, a chicotas hummed in, in time to my shoes crunching against the gravel. Now... Two, are there chicken? I guess there are. I, I don't know. I'm just, I was just thinking, like, it's always a thing in anime, but, like, is it a thing in North America? And then and then it's like, oh, yeah, we're in Japan, derp. My hair. It wasn't my fault that my hair looked like this. What, you didn't dye it? Wow. That's, that's incredible. Her hair is naturally pink. Now, if she dyed it, that would be interesting, but no, she, it's just her hair. I, I know. I know. Luckily, I found myself at the girls' dormitory, a large sign in the lawn reading Primrose House. The building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. How many students did Asago have? I'm sorry, I skipped that one kind of fast. As I approached the building, a red-headed girl lingering nearby caught my attention. I looked away, then looked back. She was still, stale, I was still staring at me, even though she doesn't say still. Oh god. She walked over. Uh, oh, you must be my roommate! Okay, I'll let her speak for herself for now. You must be my roommate! Okay, yeah, that's good. I eyed her warily. My back was getting tight. Ugh. She was smiling and bouncing in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncy castle. Jesus Christ. What? Me? Oh, wait, no, what the fuck? What's Bingo. this? Voice? Bingo. What's Hana's voice again? I totally forgot. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, something, something like that. Of course you, silly. Let me guess. Room two, uh, 325? Uh, I thought back to the paper I received a month prior with a list of all the supplies I needed for the year and my dorm arrangements. Uh. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she laughed, but I couldn't figure out what was so funny. Oh, gosh, you're going to get hazed, Hana. Was she laughing at me? <laughs> They're all laughing at me. They won't stop laughing at me. Why does everyone always look at me? Stop looking at me! When I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were going to be a total main character. Oh, fuck. Dudes. People who made this. I know, I think it was two women, but I just... Uh, I'm not mad. It's just... Uh... I'm sorry. A what? Mm -hmm. When I saw you outside that gate, I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair. I felt a lump forming in my throat. <laughs> Man, that cancer is developing fast. What was she talking about? She had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus and I was already being mocked. Oh my god, this girl's gonna go on a school shooting. My hands began to tremble. Is... is there something wrong with my hair? 
Holy shit, she's fucking crying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't cry on your first day of school. You're gonna get you're gonna get fucking wrecked by the other students. I don't care if you're a girl. Her face slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression. Well, more worried's an understatement. That's the kind of face you give when your doctor's about to tell you your fucking like blood test results. Then she began to laugh again. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I, it's great. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> okay, she's. You got it. We're getting off on the wrong foot, aren't we? Oh gosh. Um. I'm my Sasaki. You must be Hana. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. This is unbelievable. And you know what the funny thing is? Is I think you can date her. <laughs> I think you can. Um, gee, like, wow. I bowed my head. Don't do that, Ahana. I, I know, like, Japan, but don't. It's nice to meet you, bye! All your school books are waiting in our room with your welcome letter, and I read the envelope. I hope you're not mad. Please don't be mad. Ah! Mai started walking toward the dorm's front doors. I followed behind like a lost puppy. Did you check at the front desk already? Yeah, I know it's a check-in. No, I didn't. I, I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> Good. They'll offer to have a staff member give you a tour of the campus, but I can show you around. We don't get many transfer students in a year. In year three, you know. <gasps> oh, is that your only bag? Just the one? I'm glad I brought an extra bag of stuff to decorate our room with. I already... I started already. I hope you don't mind. Now... I hope there's a designing mini-game. Like a... Like a... Like a... Uh, like a decorating mini-game. I want that. I want this to be like, uh... Oh... Ah, fuck, what is it? Like, dirty dancing the game. <laughs> we just decorate your house and there's no point. But I did wait- oh, I know. But I did wait to string the lights. And that we could do it together, you know? As one. She spoke quickly, the words bubbling from her mouth. Ew. And left me no time to answer until the end of her monologue. Jesus Christ, it was just like, spit. Puddling out- Puddle- yeah, puddling from her mouth. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. She held the front door open for me, and I hurried inside. Jesus, that's so pink. Like, <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna like just stand against a wall, and people won't be able to see her because of her pink hair. Uh, girls filed up and down the hallway, howling greetings and exchanging vague niceties that were more often than not, "How was your break?" and "Look at how tan you got." It seemed like everyone knew each other. I followed Maya as she led me through the maze of zooms and up two flights of stairs. Oh my god, there's no elevator? That fucking sucks. I'm like, did I have an elevator in my building in first year university? And it's like, yeah, I did, but I didn't use it very much. It was always, it was a really bad elevator. Um, each dorm floor looked the same as the last. Narrow white doors lining both sides of pale pink walls. Thin gold numbers were tacked on the front of each, the numbers rising as we climbed. You're not missing anything with the campus tour, I promise. Mr. Saitomoto, or Saitomo does them every year and he's like totally dull. He just drags you around the entire campus and talks in a weird squeaky voice of his. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I smile, trying to let this calm my nerves. Thanks, I think. We headed down a hallway on the third floor. My stopped us in front of a no door number 325. Here we are. Okay. Okay, Obsession, Alvin Stein, um, Tortured Souls. I'm just looking at the, the posters in the back. I'm, I'm analyzing this room because I imagine we're going to be seeing this room a lot. Especially if we're getting around with the, uh, with the n normal boots, you know. We're getting around. <laughs> we will be normal walked all over by the end of this. A faint smell of potpourri wafted through the room. The walls, like the hallway, were a soft powdery pink. 
My already defaced them with a tapestry of posters, magazine cutouts, and photographs. Some of the photos were of cats, but most were of male models and rugged musicians. Ugh. Guess that explains these two things. A bunk bed, two writing desks with wooden chairs, a small dresser, and a mirrored vanity, all clearly provided by the school, were the only pieces of furniture in the tiny room. Oh man, it would fucking suck to have a fucking bunk bed. Oh my Jesus. Like, it would suck to be in college and have to sleep on a fucking bunk bed. Like, what kind of goddamn school is this? They fucking give us two writing desks, but they don't... Like, we... The library is for writing. Give us another... They give us a level bed, god damn it. A bunk bed. Oh, okay, no, I already read that. The top bug was already covered in neatly tucked blankets and throw pillows of clashing patterns and colors. Oh, so why would anyone choose to be on top? That's horrible. Like, you could fucking fall out and break your leg. The bottom bunk had a single stiff looking pillow and a thin cotton blanket that I didn't need to touch to know it was horribly itchy. Oh fuck. God damn, like Like there are fucking uh, like old timey Indian films with with protagonists that didn't have it as already as her. I must have grimaced because Mike quickly smiled at me. I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpack. I went to Italy over break, and Mom got really mad at me because I bought five bags, but we were only there for a week. <laughs> she laughed, pulled several blankets and pillows from her bunk, and rearranged them neatly on the mind. Fuck, like, are, are you a goddamn... Like, wow. You're, you're my soulmate, not really. Uh, a single twinge of guilt and embarrassment hits me. Perfection. It was then I realized that my tits were hanging out. There, oh wait, no, there, much better. <laughs> Thanks, my, I guess. Oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe lice. I placed my suitcase on the bottom bunk and began to unpack its contents. Several changes of clothing, pens and pencils, empty notebooks, a few notebook fo ah, <laughs> damn it, I was trying to do that in one go. A few photographs of my father, a dilapidated stuffed rabbit, an old portable radio, and a small black box. Is that your wedding ring? Maya opened the curtains and let sunlight pour in. Oh, the, and the sunlight poured in. So, where are you from? I slid the now empty suitcase under the bottom bunk. Uh. Oh. So, she's. I guess. I guess it explains the name. But she's Japanese. Okay, I thought she was a white person coming to Japan. That's the problem with with this kind of thing is that you can never tell who's just a white person and, and who is, is like is supposed to be Asian. Uh, man, this is taking way longer than it should. Uh, about two hours north of here, it's a small town called Amari. Uh, it's a small town called Amanda. I don't know. You probably haven't heard of it. It's too main. It's not mainstream enough. I said the stuffed rabbit. Mr. Bunny on my bed beside a purple and teal throw pillow. Oh. Did you go to a different boarding school, or...? No, I went to a public school down the street from my house. Really? Jesus Christ. Public school? OMG, what was that like? Were the students mean? Did it have a lot of friends? I always went to private schools. My parents work a lot, and my dad goes overseas, so I think they stuck me here for convenience. Oh, hey, what's that? I removed an ornately patterned origami crane from the black box and was setting it on the unclaimed writing desk. <laughs> oh, oh, this? My mother made it for me a long time ago. <laughs> Before the AIDS. I, I set it beside a stack of thick textbooks, which I assumed were provided for me. Aww. Wow, it's so pretty. I've never seen paper like that before. Oh, my God. You live in Japan, and you've never seen fucking origami. <gasps> oh yeah, the lights! Let me get them! I went to her own desk, opened the drawer, and pulled out a long, tangled string of fairy lights. I thought these would look nice! Here, help me string them up! Oh, that's what those... okay, it's those things. Uh, she grabbed a container of pushpins and, and pulled her... A wooden desk chair. 
out and over to one wall. I did the same with my own. Together we pinned the lights around the perimeter of the room. Perimeter. Not per I was going to say parameter, but then I, I realized there's perimeter halfway through. How was, the, how was the train ride over? Did you meet anyone? Um. Hmm. <laughs> some guy. And say no more. S say no more, Hana. Just don't. What? Oh. Oh, okay. This is going in directions that I was expecting. Wow. Some guy, huh? Was he cute? Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Didn't even get his name. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> was he cute? I guess. <laughs> Might seem disappointed for a moment, then perked back up. Oh man, this girl's bipolar as shit. I'm not, I'm not making that joke. Like, it's, maybe she should get some medication. You'll have to point him out to me if you see him again. Uh, okay. Once we finished stringing the lights, Mai climbed down from her chair and brushed her hands together triumphantly. Yeah! Done. Okay, now it's time for- oh wait, no. Okay, now it's time for lunch! The food here is pretty good. There's this ramen place down the street from campus that's like out of this world, but the students only let us leave campus on weekends. That's kind of dictatorial, but okay. My walk to the window. We could go today because it's Sunday and it's pretty nice out, but I guess you might want to go to the calf since you just got here. We could... <laughs> she was suddenly interrupted by her own enthusiastic laughter. <laughs> She's gonna bring her to the pain room. Oh my gosh, Mimi, Santos totally ripped, tripped outside and fell on her face. Ugh, I saw it. Why is that funny? Oh, is that mean to laugh? Maybe I shouldn't have... <laughs> Maybe she jumped and, like, fucking... It's like the lobster where she's just like braying on the ground from pain. It's like, oh. Oh well. Anyways, let's go eat. I'm totally starved. Granted, I haven't eaten anything in four days. She led me out of the room before I even had a chance to respond. The cafeteria was buzzing with students excited for the New Year's. And bees. Lots of bees. Bees! The only people as nervous looking as I felt were the tables of skittish, wide-eyed first years. I stepped into the line behind Mai, taking an empty plastic tray. We shuffled through, asking for helpings from the sulky cafeteria workers when we passed something that looked good. With full trays, Mai led me to a table in the back where a few students were already sitting. Mai sat down and I took a seat across from her. Oh, fuck. Is this person going to be major enough that I have to do a voice? I don't fucking know. Oh, f I don't give a fuck. Hi, Mai. How was your break? Maybe maybe that's her voice. She's super bored. It was good. I went to Italy and Spain. Dad fell off a ski jet and broke his ankle. Fuck. Ow. Uh -huh. It's better now, though. <laughs> This doesn't fix the fact that his ankle's gonna hurt for the rest of his life. I, I like, sprained my ankle real bad, and my ankle still acts up when fucking, like, rain's coming or something. Oh, well, that's nice. I expected to be introduced, but the girl turned her back, uh, turned back to her group of friends, and my turn back to me. She began to assault her food with a fork and tell me in a practically minute-by-minute -minute account about her fleeting romance last summer with a boy she met on the beach that didn't go any further than a few salty kisses. Maybe because she wants the V. I sat back and let my talk. For the first time since arriving on campus, I felt like she was... F oh, no, I, I was finally able to breathe. Oh, my... Just, just do something about this. Your blood pressure's out of whack. I picked at my Brussels sprouts and studied Maya as she spoke. Yeah, this is so much better than ramen. Thanks, my... The more she talked, the more I began to notice small details about her. She had a high songbird voice. What? She was dynamic, her face twisting this way and that into ex oh, this way and that into exaggerated expressions as she spoke. <laughs> she laughed off. That was established. She, she imitated people in a widely oh, <laughs> she's me. <laughs> Seemingly unrelated to her actual opinion of them. Ouch. But most notably, she talked. A lot. I didn't find this particularly annoying as it filled the silence and she hardly ever asked questions that required my full attention. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are you're the first person you meet here. You already hate them. 
Just as Mai was rounding off a shockingly detailed account about the time she walked on her friend's older brother in the act of changing, a flash of familiar green caught my eye. I glanced over. <laughs> hey, that's him! Huh? Who? I leaned across from the table to whisper, just in case he could hear me through the ambient chatter of the lunchroom. The boy from the train! That's him! What? <laughs> Jared? Uh, um, yeah, with the weird green jacket and swoopy hair. <laughs> I wish I had swoopy hair. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. He just picked up his tray and was walking past us when something seemed to catch his eye. Hmm. Oh, you. Uh, fuck, I, I, need to, I need a refresher of his voice. It's hard, because it's like, I'm trying to... I haven't watched a Pro Jared video in a while, so it's like I'm trying to remember what his voice sounds like. Herb de derp. It's like for some reason that, that was my go to for testing what his voice is like, saying Herb de derp. I think he said it in so some video, I don't remember. I looked up at him, suddenly realized he was talking to me. Hannah. Oh, there we go. Hannah, I met you on the train. How are things settling down for you? Really well. I found my roommate. And she's been helping me out. I just realized I'm gonna have to figure out a lot of voices for this game. Oh Jesus! And they're all of internet reviewers. This is this is something else. Man, it's a good thing I am the way I am right now because uh, like it's five in the morning, so I'm tired. Um, I gestured to Mai, who was thunderstruck. In fact, looking around, everyone was. People stopped eating to turn and stare at Jared and me. My shoulders brunt, uh, bunched around my neck. <laughs> she's, she's orgasming right there. <laughs> God, you Livioso. Ron, what are. Uh. God damn it. Well, if you ever need any help, I'll be around. Third year, right? Uh, fuck, it's, it's hard to do a pro Jared impersonation. I don't know. I feel bad now. I nodded. All right. Some of my friends are in that year. In fact, they can't compare to me, but I'll give them the heads up to look out for you. He flashed a dazzling smile, then winked. <laughs> it's the least I can do for such a cute girl. Well, I'll see you around. I watched a torrent of thoughts raging through my head as he took a seat next to a bunch of guys who... We're all wearing the same jacket. Now, th this seems... This is kind of dumb, because it's like the school lets students wear different outfits if they belong to a certain club. That's that's weird, man. Or is that like how people on the football team can wear football jerseys in uniform schools? If, like, if there's a game that day, maybe. But, I mean... Uh, football players aren't necessarily attractive, they're just tough. Whatever. That That's Jared! She tore her eyes away from him and looked at me. He's so cute! He's the most beautiful guy in school. Oh, Jared. I can't believe he just looked at me. Wow. I looked at my, her cheeks were glowing and in condes- Oh, an indecent pink, ooh. Why do they all wear those jackets? Aren't all the guys supposed to wear blue blazers as part of their uniform? No, they're allowed to. They're... rich? <laughs> you know Jared? Oh, okay, is this fucking girl. Like, I give a shit. Like, she has a profile picture. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know her name. <laughs> that girl turned back around and was looking at me with sudden interest. Uh... Hi! Did I know him? I only talked to him on the train for a few minutes, so not really. We weren't friends or anything. God. We weren't friends, but we were mortal enemies. But looking around, Mai and this girl weren't the only ones who were interested. Everybody seemed to be listening, and who cares? They're fucking video game nerds. <laughs> like, video game nerds hitting on girls in awkward and weird ways is not new. It's been a thing since, like, 1987. They seemed so surprised when he talked to me. Maybe a little white lie couldn't hurt. 
Oh, shit. First choice. Wow. Hmm. It's been like... It's been like a half hour, and we finally got our first choice. Granted, part of that is me being very slow right now. It, it, yeah. Um... I'm gonna say, oh, not really, because, I mean, I don't want to date Jared. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> for some reason, I just started thinking about it in real world, real world terms. Like, oh man, do I want to date pro Jared? I don't know. Like, um, you know, I, this this is probably entirely wrong, but I remember um seeing pro Jared at Con Bravo in Hamilton, and for some reason he like he was funny and stuff, but like. He just he he seems so very like almost business like when he wasn't supposed to be like doing jokes and stuff because I saw him at like a couple comedy improv show like shows there and he was he was funny um but like in between he was just very serious so I don't know if I want to I want to date him I, I'm worried that like when we're not like in like moments of highs he'd just be very clinical. Again, to probably wrong, but I, I, it's just like the vibe I get as like a, as like a first impression thing. So I'm like Hana, you know. It's like, do I want to date Pro Jared from what I've seen of him in this game? And the answer is not really. Oh, she looked at me up and down, sniffed and turned away. Oh, good, got rid of this fucking girl. I don't give a shit about her. Myla leaned towards me. Don't mind Mimi. She was just trying to get in with you. Get in, with, get in with me? Why? Well, you asked me about those guys in their jackets, right? Those are their normal boots club jackets. They're... what? <laughs> She's as surprised as we are. What's normal boots club? Oh man, like, I'm just thinking, like, the per if anybody... I know it's like 6 in the morning right now. But I'm just thinking, like, I'm just worried that, like, someone's gonna wake up in this house and they're just gonna hear me being a total schizoid. Um, it's a club we have at a school here. Uh, it's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students. Man. I like how there's precisely one person actually playing a video game and it's PBG and it's on the fucking Game Boy Color. Or, I guess, Game Boy Pocket if, if you're really old school. They get together and play video games. Oh, wait, no, they get together and play video games or something. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> actually thinking about it, I'm probably gonna try to like edit some clips from like normal boots videos into these, just like as a joke. And I'm just, for some reason like 500 just popped into my head of John Tron. I, yeah. That one right there is John, also known as John Tron. His bird's name is Jog. John is also the president of the drama club here at school. <laughs> oh, this is all collapsing in on me, and I realize I just stroked the mic. Oh my god, why can't I comprehend this? Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and throw some money at the developers, but holy shit! And I realize that like this isn't like this isn't like something made by fans. This is something made by fucking PBG's wife and and some other person. Like it's just oh my fucking god. For some reason, the implications of all this just collapsed in on Like, oh my shit, I'm like, I'm in an existential crisis right now. And I, I'm not even looking at the screen, I'm just like... I'm trying to f f fucking deal with this in my brain. Like, this all just, like, came rushing in, like, how fucking weird this concept is. Next to him is PBG. He and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PBG is one of the best soccer players on our team. I thought he was... He played some b-ball. Dirty girls were playing some b-ball. <laughs> that was the greatest basketball player of all time. Uh. Then there's Gerard. Oh, wait, no. And then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty bitty kitty collection I've ever seen. How do? You, how have you seen it? Like, were you in his room? Oh shit, my! You get around. Next to him is Jared, also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. Then, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to do people that I've never fucking watched like this. Like, this guy, I've never watched this guy, so now I'm gonna have to, like, I, if I end up following 
like following the path of this guy, which I'm probably not going to, but because like, I don't care. Um, because I've never watched his stuff, so it's like, and that sounds mean, but that's true. Um, oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna do everything I can to avoid the people I don't watch. Like, I don't watch Did You Know Gaming. Or, or no, no, I watch Did You Know Gaming occasionally. Did You Know Gaming's fine. Um, I'm, I, I, I don't watch Game Theory. That's what I don't watch. I don't watch Game Theory. Like, I, I don't like Game Theory very much, so... That's just me, but, like, eh, it's not my thing. Um, uh, then there's Satch Bay, but everyone calls him Satch. He's, like, crazy smart. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in this school newspaper called Continue. And if you take their path, they're gonna pull a train on you. Oh, I like the short, the the shallow focus here. It's, like, it's very professional. You just got, like, blurry, and then less blurry, and then clear. It's, like, it's, like, goddamn, but De Palma shit. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. Then the guy over there on the end is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone, ever. Mm. Man, you have to be really good at video games and, like, fucking, like, he just quizzes you on your opinion and it's like, if you get one wrong, you fail his, uh, path. Uh, she exhaled a dreamy sigh into her mashed potatoes. Oh, wait, oh, shit. No, that's not right. Damn it. So... How would someone, you know, join the normal boots club? What is with this face? This reminds me of something out of Family Guy. You don't choose the boots, Hana. The boots choose you. Goobble gobble. One of us. What does that even mean? I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You have to be presented with the boots to be in the club, and they're, like, super selective. What are the boots? The club has this boot statue. It's like the one on their patches, but it's gold-plated. It's their mascot, I guess. They do have a weird initiation ritual with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you get your ass kicked. Ritual? <laughs> I hear they fill a room with candles and wear those totally creepy robes during initiation. This year, two girls uh, said she saw it, and they were like chanting around the boots, and it sounded like they were talking backwards. But I don't believe her, and even if it's true, I don't care if they're a cult because they're all really hot. <laughs> okay, that's a genuinely good line. <laughs> that's a funny line. <laughs> Do they have a lot of friends? Yeah, tons of friends. I'd say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean, like, everyone totally looks up to them. I bet you could get any girl in school, too. Or boy, for that matter. Oh. Hey, are you gonna eat your cake? <laughs> Oh man, I've got this fucking chocolate cake, like, sitting across from me in my room, and it's like, ah, oh, I, th I need it. <laughs> I shook my head and pushed the plastic tray across the table from her, uh, to her. For the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half-dissolved frosting. Oh fuck, she's just making this sound so good. Back at the dorm, I sorted through the pile of textbooks the school left for me. My radio was playing a poppy tune, equal parts music to static. My fervently scribbled in a notebook at her desk, hunched over it with a strikingly poor posture. Hey! Hey, Mai! Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is gonna lead to a love scene, isn't it? Mm hmm. She didn't bother to look up. Am I supposed to have a textbook for History 309? Probably? It's history. When do you not have textbooks for history? Like, unless you're using, like, computers, but this doesn't seem to take place in a world of computers. Although it does take place in a world of video games. That was a dumb thing to say. Uh, she shuffled through the papers on her desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powdered wig frowned at me from the cover. Yeah, this one. I sighed. I do that a lot. I don't have that one! The school must have missed it! Mai shrugged and set the textbook back in her pile. They have a bunch- oh, they have a bunch at the library! You can just check one out! Where's the lib- oh, no, there, where's the library?! Mai riffled through- riffled? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it's a word, it's just- that's a weird word. I uh, threw her notebook and wrote something down. She tore the page out and handed me a crudely drawn map. Oh, okay. 
Well, we'll be back in a little bit. You're just gonna rent out your textbook through the whole semester? Man, that's fucking sad. Took me, uh, it took me at least 20 minutes to find the library. By the time I realized I was holding the map upside down, the sun was setting. Oh, what, what a nice moment. It's so good. The library was much larger than I expected. The walls lined from floor to, uh, lined from floor to ceiling with books of all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Okay, got it. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. For some reason, I'm having a really hard time reading. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, a recognizably green and gray jacket was bent behind the counter. N normal boots. I briefly considered running away. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Leave me alone. I I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Um, can I help you? Too late. Uh, yeah. The school forgot to give me one of these textbooks. I was told I could get it here. I'm gonna do him as... He sounds a little like Billy D. Williams. A little, a little deeper. Which one is it? The, his, the History 309 textbook. I keep forgetting to do Hana's voice because I don't care. Uh, he stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. We dodged between the aisles in a comfortable silence. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? Shane. Ooh. Shane Gerard John. No, not John. <laughs> Oh, I'm having one of those existential moments again. Okay, I need to get back to this game. Um, uh, she already said it, so whatever. Huh? Oh, um, you work here? Ugh, of course you work here, stupid. <laughs> he chuckled, the dimples appearing in his cheeks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm the librarian's assistant. It's my second year, and I love it. I get to help people find books that speak to them. His eyes twinkled like a kid's on Christmas. Okay. It's a little much, but okay. Your book's right down here? He stopped at a row of thick, dusty books. Was this all history? And pulled out the book with the powder-wigged man I saw earlier. <laughs> Thanks! He waved his hand. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything else? Um... I wanted to make a good impression on the normal boots club, but I couldn't think of anything. No. Thanks. Copacetic. Oh, fuck me. That was creepy. I'm wearing headphones. It's like, ah, it's just like you said that right in my ear. Uh, you're welcome. As we headed back through the cavernous library, an unease scent melted away. We weren't talking, but just being near, but him being near me felt like being wrapped in a soft blanket. Hmm. Oh God. I resisted the urge to snuggle up to him. Fuck me. That wow. <laughs> she just starts like brushing up against him, and he's like, "What the fuck, dude?" We neared the front desk, stepping on a clump of studying students as we passed. One of them shifted. <laughs> Something white flew past my face. You know, For God's sakes, work on your aim. Oh, a thick piece of triangular paper lay at my feet. I bent over and picked it up. I was It was surprisingly heavy. There was a quarter inside of it. If I was just a hair slower, it would have hit me in the face. <laughs> Stoon snickered, and I recognized the boys that made fun of my hair this morning among them. Man, they're dedicated. My heart dropped. I scanned my memory for anything I might have done to offend them, but I came up with nothing. She was like wearing no underwear and she bent over. <laughs> Fuck, wow. Uh, my hands started to shake. I hid behind my I hid it behind my back, trying to think of some way to defend myself. Why did you do that? Eh, what do you mean? We were just messing around. Are you suggesting we did it on purpose? I faltered. There was nothing I could say. I was outnumbered. They would twist my words around no matter how straightforward I was. One of the boys held his hand out for the paper. I inched closer to give it to him, angry at myself for being so compliant. I wish I were a gentle warmth clot oh gentle warmth closed over my hand and took the paper from me. <laughs> uh, Sag examined the paper closely. 
I see what the problem is. Your aim would be better if you cut the corners before you folded it. He placed the paper on the table. The boy looked at him in sheer awe. Be careful, though. You almost Hitler, and that would have been awful. My hands began to sweat as panic shifted through me, afraid of my, the response, but... Jeez, we're sorry. We'll be careful next time. Yeah, it was an accident. They apologized? Thanks, I appreciate it. He gave them a wide smile and continued off down the aisles. I followed closely behind, my legs weak. Don't tell me they stopped because of him, simply because I was with him. I wanted to thank him, but my heart was pounding so hard I knew my voice would shake. We reached the front counter, and he scanned through the history book. My lips tremble. Oh, Jesus. My lips tremble as I willed myself to say something, anything to thank him. This is turning into a Harlequin romance thing. He tilted his head to the side. What books do you like to read? Oh, uh, fiction! Great. Thanks, Hannah. He chuckled. I just finished a good book. I figured it'd be right up your alley if you don't mind me saying so. He reached under the counter and pulled out a thick green book and passed it to me. A man in black stood on the front, hugging a woman in royal robes. It's long, but it's one of my favorites. The Princess Betrothed. I know things can be tough transferring to a new school. If you ever worry, just read this. It'll transport you a hundred miles away in a second. Tears stung my eyes. I ducked my head. Every time she says their name, I... Fuck. Thank you, Satch. From where it just looks. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name. Uh, well, uh, I'm a transfer student. Hana. I, don't, I don't care anymore. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Hana. Let me know if how you like the book. I will. That couldn't have gone better. Well, I mean, if the people didn't throw a fucking paper airplane at your face, I mean, that would probably be better. Not only was Satch impossibly kind, but being around him felt easy, refreshing. Like being doused in the mist of a waterfall. Oh gosh, what was I thinking? Man, that is some symbolism right there. My cheek's hot. I left the library. Two surprisingly heavy books under one arm. I settled into bed, eager, eager, uh, <laughs> eager to get started with my new reading material, but Mai was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. Every few minutes, she released a long, drawn-out sigh as the lead of her pencil whined against the paper. I lowered my book and took the bait. Is something wrong, Mai? She let out another dreary sigh. Uh. <laughs> I hope Senpai notices me this year. Does Jared know you like him? My world around in feigned shock. What? I don't like Jared. I love him. Uh oh. I closed my book and set it aside, deciding to play along. Well, well have you at least tried talking to him? <laughs> no. I mean, I have before. Why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering this like it never crossed her mind before. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Satisfied, I picked my book back up. It's like some erotic fan fiction, like and then Aragorn took Legolas's elven blade and thrust it in his anus. Have you ever had a boyfriend, Ma Hana? What? Huh? But me? No, never. Really? Really? Never. Hmm. Oh god, I was about to say this is pathetic, but then it's like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Um, yeah. I bet you 10,000 yen that you meet a totally cute boy here and fall in love by the end of the school year. <gasps> You're crazy! You're a crazy woman! I buried my face back in my book, barring my from any further discussion. 
fall in love by the end of the year, me? If I were a betting kind of girl, I'd take that bet. I awoke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. My... Okay. My was already up, shuffling through a school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. Hannah! Oh, Jesus. I hate her so much. Hannah, you're finally awake. Her voice sliced through the air like a knife, and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. Oh, God. I don't think I can take any more of this. I'm going to stop now, because... I can't handle morning people at 6.30 in the morning as I'm recording a playthrough of Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. I, yeah, I, need, I need a break. I need some chocolate cake, goddammit. <laughs>